Oh man. You guys ever drink so much over the past two to three days? Two to three days? You just have like a cough now? Anyway, that's what I assume is gonna happen once I'm like 30, but I kinda got there a bit early. Hi y'all, it's me, it's Patrick. I'm playing Shadows Over Loathing. It's a, it's a fun one. It's definitely one of them. Um, someone should definitely let me know how my audio sounds. I was fucking around with shite earlier. But in the meantime, we are out in the middle of Swampland. Uh, swamping about. I have no idea what we were doing. Because learning is for cowards. Ah, no fishing. Did I already do that? Hey, Gabby. Oh, hey. Ooh. I would like the XP. Oh my god, it's two children. This part of the cave wall is shiny. Okay, what's up? Uh, hi. Hello. Who are you guys? We're the Slitch Brothers. I'm Clem. And shut up, Clem. You might be Prahi. Uh, I ain't Clem. And I ain't Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not a prohibition agent. I'm just passing through. I'm McFitzer Upper. Oh. That's a relief. Sure is. Good to meet you, McFitzer Upper. What are y'all doing here? Got ourselves in a right predicament, is what we done. Uh, what happened? Well, me and Jarvis been brewing up homemade hooch to sell. Been stashing in the back of this cave. Yeah, but we got wind that the prolies are on the way, so we figured we better cheese it. Pull the old 23 skidoo, you know? Come to find out a pack of them mean lizard varmints got into the hooch and won't give it back. We was thinking we'd just take the loss and blow up, but we hid another snag. I went and locked the keys in the trunk. Yeah, and we don't know, uh, looking like a fool. Hmm, well, I'll see what I can do. I, I have a coat hanger. Doesn't that seem easier? I unlocked your truck. Well, dang, that's a load off my mind. Thanks, pal. I'm driving this time. Yeah, it's fair. Okay, let's approach them. Back away carefully. Bewitch and mysticality. I can drink up a mysticality real quick. Amethyst? That's funny, but no. Cow shoes? Maybe. All right, inventory, filters, mysticality. <clears throat> Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, I'll take the plus one to everything. Various fruits. You eat a can of fruit cocktail, one fruit at a time, just like anybody else. Delicious. Okay. How about some mixed drinks? So, are you guys uh drinking that stuff straight? Drink booze, so. Well, cocktail crafting isn't my specific wheelhouse, but I know a couple recipes. I could make you up some drinks that would go down smoother than pure ethanol. You drink it now. Mm, tastes good. <laughs> Next drink. <coughs> Dying. Great. I have ingredients for one. I call a Mickey Finn. I'm sure you'll enjoy. Dash of bitters, a splash of orange juice, and a light dusting of sporaphic toadstool spores later, and the gator man is snoring loudly on the floor. Wow, he's really out. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Probably best let the drunken gator switch. I grab, wow. I grab a lot of hooch. Uh, I dealt with the gators. You hand over the case you picked up. Well, thanks for the great news, fellow. We'll get that load in the truck in the jiffy. Looks like you guys are ready to go. Sure does. Thanks a million, you saved our life. And how? We ain't got much to offer you, by the way, rewards, but feel free to grab a crate of hooch. As a thank you. Thanks. Got to pay attention how they got in the truck through that weird tree hole. Oh, maybe next time. I, I'm so interested in the fact that the part of the cave wall is shiny. Make small talk. Okay, no. Well, I believe I've. <clears throat> so, holy crap! I have a lot of XP. Um. I need muscle. Yes, please. I will take 
the fingers of Fontina. Your fingers are stronger and less spindly than those of an average wizard. Perfect. Okay. That, yes, is enough for me to go to Radio Shack. <laughs> Do something. Look, hang on. Ah, uh, ooh, you s step on the cops of the Swamp Cyrus to the edge of a gloomy... Two burly men work hurriedly with shovels to bury the corpse of a gator man, whose epaulets, hat, and mailbag mark him as a manner of mailman. As the gator is swallowed whole by the mud, his grave divers straighten up and look you in the eye, sweaty but defiant. You have stumbled upon the darkest, most secret part of the swamp, where sins are buried, and gators. I'm gonna look away and keep walking. I'm gonna crack this open. Um, I'm gonna make myself stronger somehow. Uh, filters. Muscle. Oh, I can just wear these shorts. Let's go. Ah, those bricks were to cover up the fact that the that this brick was missing. Lamest conspiracy theory ever. Okay. I've made this place real stinky. Alright. Is that helpful? To me at all? <clears throat> it's certainly interesting. Greeting. Uh, hey, about this water. What the do? Just want to point out that it isn't stagnant. It's flowing from one side of the room to the other. Huh? Vunning water? None of our very... S one of our several very common weaknesses. Water burning? Irony terrible! <laughs> the vampires make for the door, but get each other's way and dissolve into ash that is quickly washed away. They were vampires? Mm -hmm. Ooh, powered by evil. We got a glowing lightning ball thingamajiggy. Can you believe this thing was invented in the past and approximately 60 years from now? I would like to dig through it. A jewelry case. I open it. Amethyst armband. Got one of those. And an anaer anaerobic ring. Right now, this ring prevents oxidation in its immediate vicinity. In the future, it'll also prevent exercise. Huh. Ooh, Burt Wars Finest Toothbox and a Spectic Pencil. I flush it for 60 XP. I hook up Rufus's gadget. All right. It's riddle solved. Next spot. Oh, crap. What are my quests? What am I doing? Hi, what am I doing? Find. Rufus wants you to go to 11 radios out in the world. Turn them to WCGR. Search the Gator Man Hamlet. Pepperidge Dolphin wants you to retrieve his father's 11 padlocks. Okay. We're going to the Dolphin House and we're getting that last padlock. How am I only missing one? Sounds like a cat. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should fix what I sound like. All right, yeah. So that's definitely worse, and I'm sorry. We're going back to floating. Ooh, a store-bought radio. I hook it up. Fancy serving cart. Stairs to the second floor. No, not yet. All died of natural causes. Ralphie, why on earth do you keep flushing the fish zester down the commode? Have you been possessed by some otherworldly or demonic force? No, Dad. I just thought it'd be a funny place to hide it. Eerie. Okay. Second floor. Not cursed. Not cursed. Not cursed. Not cursed. To the attic? No. Nothing. Ooh. Okay. 
The cedar chest is locked and easily big enough to hide a skeleton. For goodness sakes, Agnes Zero Seps, assist with taping things to the back of paintings, just like Aunt, your Aunt One-Eyed Dolphin. You'll probably die peacefully in her sleep, just like she did. I want to smile, frown, scowl, worry, cringe, freak out, close your eyes, back to normal. No, not helpful. Is there anything in my inventory I've just realized I haven't, like, used? These are all equipables and eatables. Universal healthcare. That seems important, but no. Creepy music box. Uranium rouge. What? How have I not solved this? What was yours? A terrible ghoul stole the key to my nightstand. Probably hid it in the potted plant in the hallway like he always does. I think I solved that one. Some dirt, yeah. Okay, well, someone else deal with that horrendous thing in chat. Thank you. I'm going to try and play this video being poorly, apparently. Maybe it's outside in... Yeah. Is it you I forgot? Oh, I check under the bench. God damn it. Okay. And then I go... I go to you. We're done. Perfumed wedding veil. Hmm. Seems wrong to have. To the boxcar. There it is. Number one victory royale. Yeah, boy, no, you're about to get down. Get down. <clears throat> I mean, hi, Nate. What's up? Where'd you find this, Gabby? Gabby was found. <laughs> was found. Great big frog turned inside out, and this all inside. What? Haha, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yep. Hello. My significant other, how are you? I found your father's 11 padlocks. Thank you so much. You didn't run into my grandmother by any chance, did you? What? Was she supposed to be there? No, that would have been highly unusual if she had been, considering she died more than 30 years ago. Uh, here's your padlocks. Marvelous. Once I've reaccustomed myself to standing on level ground, I'll be on my way. There's a big hobo camp near Ocean City you might be interested in. I can give you directions. Ah, uh, Exodus. I'll head that way now. Perhaps I'll see you there? Anything I can steal out of his stuff? Nah. Why is everything... Oh, we're in italics because we're uh, literally sideways. We're uh, at a... Me and my team just had 18 kills in a trios game. Ooh. That's got to feel good. Oh, all right. I've collected something nasty. Okay. Moonshiner Shack. Is this just where I found out about the Moonshiner Cave? I think that's probably it. Oh, and that's where the, the truck tracks went. Okay. I mean, a, a stomp still feels good. That's, like, the best thing about... Fortnite is that it always feels good even when it wasn't actually like that difficult of a match I'm just gonna this looks stealable I mean openable it's empty it's only made of genuine leather and it does not contain genuine leather the ambiguity is clear now the person who's responsible for the original description has been sacked greet him something to say about the dead gator I swear I didn't know he was a mailman. Would never intentionally hunt a mailman. Who are you? Me? Ain't much to my story. I'm a hunter. Name of John Leathers. And if you can't tell from the accent, I'm from Albion. As a toddler, I hunted small game like mosquitoes and gnats that moved up to foxes and voles. And as such, I grew up. I like 
the game over here, but I got my eye on the greatest hunt of all. What's that? Big picture? I'd like to build a ladder to heaven so I can hunt the dinos. <laughs> That's uh, more of a five to ten year plan, though. Um, I'm, I don't know how, that's, uh, wait, okay, I might not know how ladders or heaven works, but I guess it's good to have a dream. Wouldn't it be more practical to build a time machine? Now that's ridiculous. What's wrong with you killing a mailman? Listen to yourself. You can't tell you ain't a hunter, all right? Most any species is fair game by hunted, but mailmen are protected by international treaty. Last hunter I know who hunted mailman got pulled up in international criminal courts and mailed to Mars. Is he okay? Obviously he ain't okay. Don't joke with me. That's a nightmare scenario for a hunter. Get mailed to Mars? Sends shivers down my spine, it does. I never accused you of killing a mailman. Oh hell, me and my big mouth. He was in my way, you understand? Had no idea he was a mailman. Never would have touched a mailman if I had known. My brother, he had nothing to do with it, understand? I swear it. Give him a skeptical look. <clears throat> Fua, never been asked so many questions before. You can talk the talk, all right, but what about hunting the hunt? I got work that needs doing, but I ain't going out there while they're searching the swamp for the side who killed the mailman. They find me, I'm dead. You don't gotta be a leather man to know which way the wind blows. What are you hunting for? Something real important, project. For that, I need five gator hides. I don't even know a place where you can find them. Scooped it out myself. Couldn't be easier unless it was a smaller number of gator hides. What's the project? Alright. I accept this, I guess. Hey there. Paul can't speak. Can't or won't? Don't. How come you're mute, Paul? Now that's a very personal question. Sorry, it ain't any problem. It's just a hobby of mine to make observations of the natures of questions. Basically, Paul lost his tongue in a poker game. Can we trade? D uh, I did not expect that. Pickaxe? Yeah, I'll I'll own a pickaxe. Gator punch. No, I don't really punch. And I already have a crowbar. And I don't want that. Alright, well, good talk. Um... I mean, these are pretty good. Anyway, they're gone. Cax for the shiny wall. Oh, 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 you're very right. You're very right. I should do that. Also, I have 1.3 million hats to get rid of. Will you take any of them? I have so many hats. Where are they? Okay. Uh, that one's bad. That one's bad. Oh, whatever. I'll do this another time. Or maybe I'll never do it. Alright. Let's go to that cave and see if that pickaxe works. I'm curious. Ooh! Gabby has found some mushrooms. With bright red spots in this picking them. Uh, Gabby, I think those are poisons. Oh, yes. Very poison you. But Gabby doesn't know about poisons yet. Before you can object to this, Gabby crams the toadstools into her mouth and eats them. Blah, this is opposite delicious. But Gabby knows about poisons now, so that's worth a while. Wow, I can now be cured of poison. That's really good. Please work, please work, please work. What? I have a pickaxe. I thought that was really smart. It didn't work right there, but I will begin committing to this in many places. Okay, the Leather Brothers wanted me to go to... What did they want me to do? Nope, that's the map. Whatever. Gator Man Village? Monster Shack. Instead of ending up where you want to be, you can end up at Monster Shack. You know, it's the Monster Shack because the big sign that says Monster Shack. I'll go to the Monster Shack. <laughs> it's almost as bad as the Radio Shack. Give Gabby a thumbs up. Oop, hobo code? These kids are all right. Aw. No skeptics. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my mysticality. 
Look, all right? Inside you find not the decayed, crumbling, tumble-down shack strewn with ancient wreckage that you were perhaps expecting, but an actually maintained a very clean, tumble-down shack strewn with 12 to 14-year-olds. What? <clears throat> hey, what are all you kids doing out in the middle of the swamp? Why shouldn't we be? Because it's dangerous. Yeah, but that's where the monsters are. And that's why it's dangerous. Do you believe in monsters, mister? Yes, of course I do. You mean you've seen them? Oh, really? For real? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, which ones? Which ones? Vampires. Oh, those don't count. Those are just weird jerks. We're looking for real monsters. I don't really know what real means when you, in this context. Well, since you believe in monsters, you can join our monster squad. Otherwise, we can't tell you anything because it's secret. I will join. Great. It'll be nice to have someone who can reach the top of the shelf of the old bookshelves we scavenged. Oh, I'm a member now? Yeah. We used to have a big ceremony, we'd repeat the vow and stuff, but it took too long and we're all busy with our research. Come in and have a look. Wow. Oh, this is a whole setup. Hi there. Hi. Don't mean to be rude, but what's your deal? Oh, I'm a mossman. You are, huh? Well, not really, but I want to be a mossman when I grow up, so I'm eating all this fertilizer. Um, it's actually cornflakes. I'm just pretending. Phew. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy. Some people say I'm crazy for believing in the moss man, though. I know he's real. I've seen him. A moss man? A made of man made of moss? Yeah, he's all fuzzy and green. It's so neat. You should go see him for yourself. Then if you bring me proof he exists, people won't think I'm weird. No, they will, but okay. Here you go. I marked it on your on your place. It's called Moss Rock Grotto. Bring back some proof. This kid is studying far more intently than you ever did at his age. Well, shut up. And Nate, I will look at that later. What are you reading? It's about Neanderthals and the other hominins. Unfortunately, I'm not finding anything useful in here. What are you looking for? <clears throat> the honey ape. What? You've never heard of it? It's a very famous monster. It's a hairy primate or primate-like creature that's smaller than a human, but human-sized hands. And most of the legends call it fake hands, but I'm pretty sure fake hand legends and the reports of honey ape sightings are referring to the same cryptid. Okay. Now, I know it lives somewhere around here. I just haven't been able to find it yet. Yeah, I got time would be excellent. Thank you. Here, I might have found some of the prints and made a trace in. And that might help you track it down. Try and get one of its fingernails as proof. How does a fingernail be proof? Because it'll be as big as a human fingernail, obviously. Um, buddy? What do you got there? Perfume samples? Kinda. This one's a combination of hydrogen sulfide and methane. Common swamp gas, basically. Oh, what's the other? Coffee. To clear the swamp gas smell out of my nose. Um, why? I'm researching a creature known as the Smell-O-Wisp. <laughs> it's a good name. I've only run into it once, but I have a good memory for smell, so if I can figure out if I can match its smell, the particular chemical mix will tell me more. The Smell-O-What? Wisp. It's a cloud of intelligent swamp gas. Some people say it's a ghost of a dead chili cook-off judge. But I think there's probably more of a scientific explanation. You're telling me you're looking for an intelligent fo- The girl gestures sternly at the sign over the workbench. No fart jokes. Oh, come on. That's a smell-o-wisp. No. Well, I don't know what to say then. If you're willing to help, instead of making puerile goofs, I would appreciate really use a sample to analyze. Can I use your equipment? Sure, just don't disturb any of my smells. Oh, great. Anyway, I will absolutely work for you. Here you go. A nose trumpet. <laughs> A big cone designed to make it so people who have lost their sense of smell can still tell what they've stepped in. Mmm, very useful. I just smell through this? Yep, just follow your nose. Okay. Kid with ball cap, sinister looking triangle. Ham, ham radio. Hi there. Hey, hey, you're a grown up. Can you help me with something? I'm not buying you cigarettes. Oh no, there's a swamp lady named Barbara Yagagaga. Everybody says she's just a fairy tale, but I know she's real because I've seen her hut right here in the swamp. But I don't know if she's the sort of swamp lady who eats kids or not. Swamp lady? Well, I don't want to call her swamp witch or swamp hag or stuff like that. It would be mean to judge her that way because I haven't even met her. Ugh, kids these days. Yeah, I'll check it out. All right, many thanks. A marker hut on your sponge map? Anyway, bring back a feather to prove you met her, okay? Barbara Yagara. She has feathers? I mean, from one of her pet birds. The story says she has a ton of them. 
How will you know I it isn't just an ordinary feather I found? Well, you seem like a trustworthy person. Uh, then why do you need proof? Because that's not how quests work. Can I get on that radio? Oh, what's the radio for? Oh, it's not related to Baba Yaba Gaba Baba. I'm just trying to find a station, get, get some music here. Oh, nice hat. What's the triangle mean? It's for the Great Pyramids. One of them, anyway. Have I seen them? Mm, only on your hat. Well, maybe you will someday. Yeah, who knows? Any chance I can get this on? I can't seem to get any station right now. Peering into room with flies. Hey, uh, are you uh, into flies? I kinda? They're interesting once you get over the gross factor, but mostly I'm studying them because I want to see the fly man. The fly man? Yeah, or maybe man fly? I haven't decided which way is better yet. Okay, so what about this fly man man fly? Well, he's a scientist that moved into the old Flemberg place. Did a little spying on him. I think he's trying to turn himself to a giant fly. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. That's what's so interesting. Huh. Also, he's like really handsome. For now, you mean? Well, yeah, I'd really like to meet him, but I'm too shy. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Thanks, here you go. I'll show you where the house is. Um. Uh, if, 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 you, if you met him, can you bring me back a souvenir? Like what? Uh, you know, like a chest hair. I yes, I suppose. I'm gonna reach inside. Shadow hot dog. Dozens of volumes of serial fantasy for young adults and older than average children. <laughs> Marsh Capone's monster with a modern provolone. But what? I read it. Oh, um, a Montel Elemental. Surely, tampering down the forces beyond his control killed the Marsh Capone clown, but you're d built different. There's an appendix at the end of the book with a bunch of boring science details. If you mac memorize the appendix. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna become a su summoner. Holy shit, it's a cat. Boris hisses at you. He knows you're an outsider. I will fix this. Alright, kid with a contraption. What are you making? Oh, I don't know yet. I'm kind of just messing around with stuff. Hey, do you know anything about the Chupa Naranja? I try to avoid spicy food. Gives me a hiccup. No, it's this kind of monster that only eats oranges. They're supposed to be from way down south, but I know there's one in the swamp somewhere. Fortunately, no matter what I kind of trap I build, it keeps escaping. You want to try? Yeah, I got nothing better. Yeah, feel free to use the workbench over there. Got plenty of spare parts and stuff. Manage to catch it. Bring me back the nostril that has a proof. A nostril? Not the whole head or a pelt? Oh, I don't want to kill it. Just prove it's out there. Okay. I would like to tighten the spring. I would like to adjust the torque. I would like to add a battery. Add a fuse. That's good enough. Of dubious quality? Let's go hunting. Kid, I got it. How do I use it? What's this book? List of vampires' nests. It's like 400 pages long. Lots of vampires out here. If you want to help, you can go clear some out of the way. I'm good. Okay, how do I use the Chupanapa Trapa Trap? Of dubious quality. It's like really good quality. Oh my god, I have so much to do now. What was I doing? Uh, okay, moving on. Oh my god. We're going to the closest place first. Barbara's hut. A bird bath? As a bird dirtier. <laughs> Ew, that's stupid. Ooh. A flat finned mud squelcher. Ooh, a brown-eyed slime fish. Oh, a four-eyed yuck fin. This cacti looks different from most of the others. This one? 
like a lion tail. Okay. Translate the hobo knowledge? Level 16? It's really powerful. Level 16. Oh, I gotta get back here. Cautiously enter the spooky hut, and it's actually really nice inside. A young woman with a rather twig-oriented hat greets you. Oh, hello. Please don't come in. I don't give any visitors apart from the birds. Oh, uh, I think I might be in the wrong place. Are you Barbara Yargara? Uh, that's correct, and you are? Ah, uh, Mick fits her up for the third. Oh, pleasure. Come in. Come in. Um, a lot of, a lot of birds. I can't, I can't move. Oh, I'm on this side of the door. I'm sorry, my bad. I'm gonna indulge my own vanity with a smile. Uh, yeah, let's talk. It's a really nice house. To be honest, I was expecting it to be, I don't know, witchy. Oh, you've heard the stories. Yeah, those are about my granny. She was really into croning. Croning? Oh, being a crone, like, all the old traditional magic stuff. You know, she lived for nearly 200 years. When she passed, she left me this house and all the birds and so on. Oh, is that why you're here chasing the old legends of Barbara Yarga? Well, no. I met a kid who was into the old stories, but he was afraid he might be a child-eating witch, so he sent me instead. Aw, that's adorable. I don't think I've ever eaten child, but there's no telling that was a granny stew's. Not sure if that was a joke or... Sure! Anyway, I'm supposed to take back a feather? Um, to prove that I met you. Oh, well, I can't just give you one. Are you sure? Yeah, sorry, I have to do some kind of test. It's tradition. What's the test? Well, it's a lot of work keeping the room clean, what with the birds and all. So you could do my chores, or you could fight me. Fight you? Oh, well, Granny trained all these birds to be killers, but I haven't been exactly doing that. They could use the exercise. Tell me more about the chores. I need you to muck out the bird bath. Pick the right cocktails in the patch. And the third thing? Of course, but I'll tell you about that after you finish the first two. Okay, I'll do it. Great. You can tell the right cocktails by the, how they look a little different. Okay. What about this bird bath? I've never seen an indoor one before. Oh, that was a gift. It was too small for my birds, though. I'll be happy to give it to you along with that feather if you help me out. Hell yeah. I would like to cook fancy foods. Cold armor. 10 max HP. That's so good. Um, what else? I mean, mysticality and AP regen is insane. Anyway. Muck it out. Sleaze and stench armor. Stench and sleaze are both actually not that far off. Inventory? A books? Sleaze armor. Read. I have seven XP. All right, never mind. Um, 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 um. I need seven of each. I am two away in stench. All right. Filters. Elemental. Stench. I'll equip it. All right. And then elemental. Sleaze. Greasy paper hat. Waxed flax. Have I done it? Wow, exactly. I'm very smart. You slop the filth out and hide it behind a tree where no one can see it. Oh, you know there's nothing in there. That's the hobo code. I just found it. Ripe. 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 God, I want to learn the hobo knowledge. Hey there. And here's your cat chills. Um, great, thanks. What's your mysterious third task? Go in the basement and fetch a sack of bird seed. Basement. How do you have a basement in a swamp? Oh, I don't know. I think it's gran Granny's magic keeping it from collapsing. You have a flashlight, right? Yeah, I have a flashlight. Fuse box is broken beyond repair. Oh, I need spook armor? <laughs> what do you think I am? A baby? I am, but I'm also 
very a brave boy. Wax lax nah. Alright, spook armor. Filters. Elemental armor. Spook. Green visors three, really? Confused and angry? Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Creepy locket? I'll get rid of that. And I'll wear the stupid visor. Go deeper. Anything in the wall here? Go deeper? Makes sense why she keeps this thing in the basement. Don't particularly want to know what this says. I'm gonna go deeper? What, like I'm a baby? Go deeper? This is the most original Barbie Yaga books. Unfortunately, it's as dark as it is, it's the inside of a dog down here. I'm gonna go deeper? The walls, how die, fool! I'll grab some birdseed? Oh, what are you gonna do? Come on, rats, let's go. Let's go. Lead the way. Come on, guys. There you go. Anyway. Well, like it's hard. There you go. How's the chores going? Well, I got the sack of bird seed. You kind of undersold how spooky it was. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I can learn a charm to keep the mice away. Oh, the voices, the bleeding walls. Uh, it doesn't sound familiar. Maybe your flashlight was acting up. Anyway, here's that feather. Uh huh. I would like the sink. Yes. You really should have dumped out the water before you started carrying it around. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe. Barbara, I will return when I have more knowledge. What is my level? I'm level 15! I'm one hobo away! Damn it. I'm always just one hobo away, you know? Am I right, gamers? Am I, genuinely? I don't know. Creepy locket? No. Murder attack. Everything else on me is good. Alright. We'll complete them all together in like a group. That's odd. The patch of muddy ground has a lot of tracks in the area that look like human handprints. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna follow the tracks. The more you look, the more confusing and trampled each mess. It seems like they're all taking different sets of tracks heading in different directions. It has one thumb on one hand. How many fingers was it? Four. Oh, I'm going to leave it alone. Hang on. Hang on. I need seven moxie. Ooh, I am moxless. What about cool sunglasses? Cool sunglasses? And then the, the nasty hat. Come on, nasty hat. All right, we're going back out. Going to Monster Shack. Okay, I'm gonna fight whatever this is. Oh my God. It's bad, I don't like it. I've never seen a Shadow Brute before, but it's, it's not good. Cannot take more than four kills for damage at a time. Get absolutely punked as everyone gets sleezed on. Abra Kakua Four. I don't know. I don't. I don't know my. I don't know my terms. Can we get wrecked? Nice. Okay, we're going back out to Mossman. Gloomy grove sunken. A well-muscled woman stands waist-deep in opaque bog. Her hand rests on the pommel of a sword. Its blade lodged in the muck. Who? What sword is that? This is the blade of your great aunt. Many moons ago, it was entrusted to my family for safekeeping. Now it is yours to reclaim for a cost. What great aunt? If you've forgotten your lineage, boy, time was ever ta every tavern and meeting house kept a place for the fire of Hilda the Third. 
Why do I have to pay for my family sword? The security guarantee by my family is unique and could comes with a great price. Your great aunt knew this. That's why she placed the blade in our care. Okay, what's the cost? I shall ask. You have a boon, and you should be obliged to grant it. I'm good. Have you forgotten your lineage, boy? Time. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really need a sword. Is it too late to get the sword? Gingerly, you reach tiptoe into the swamp water. The pool in which the woman stood in is less than an inch deep. Dang. Alright, Moss Rock Grotto. How can I help you, dude? Well. Huh, he. He doesn't exactly look fearsome, but you're looking for a fight. This might be the best time to. I'm gonna talk to him. Are you the Moss Man? Yep, that's me, Clyde Moss Man. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm McFitzis Rupper. Welcome to my humble abode. I ain't got many visitors, except some weird kid I keep seeing peeking around the trees. Are you actually Moss? Man? Well, I ain't quite sure what you're meaning. That's like my last name. Yeah, but are you a human person or some sort of moss swamp creature? Huh? Okay, I get that was a really rude question. Well, I weren't always this way. But I've been living in this swamp a long time. Just kind of dug in and got comfortable. Moss just sort of grows out of me natural like now, instead of hair. Guess it's what happened gradual. Got accustomed to it. Didn't occur to me to question it. Uh, that's my bad. Didn't mean to give you like a psychological crisis. Eh, no problem. No apology necessary, friend. But it is something I'm gonna be chewing on for a while. Could I have some of your moss? Excuse me? You drop an existential bombshell on me and now you're asking for part of my body? Okay, I'm not in like top social form. I do need that moss though. Well, I'll tell you what. Help me solve the puzzle of whether I'm a man or a monster and I'll give you some moss. Hmm. Sorry, I have no idea. This moss is twinkling for some reason. Hmm. What do you think, Gab? Uh, Gabby, is everything alright? Sounds like a cat meowing. You should probably watch out for those gator men. They seem like real nasty customers. Yes, still entitlement. Demanding to see managers. Great point. Really good kick-ass point. Give me this hat back, and we'll switch back to Wander. So, about that moss. Hmm. Well, the way I see it, you seem intelligent and can hold a conversation. And did try to murder me for my delicious organs. How do you know they're delicious? So I figure what this really, what does it mean to be human anyway? You may be less homo sapien and more, whatever the technical term for moss is. But does that really matter? In the grand scheme of things, what's really important is just being a good person, whatever kind of person you are. Well, that's real, even if it's an extremely weird kind of person. Well, that's real good of you to say, friend. I guess that answers my question. Oh, great. Here, let me give you some of my moss, like I promised. Moss man's mustache. Thanks. Hey, are you technically a hobo? Heh, <laughs> well, ain't the thing about hobos that they're always on the move? Practically the opposite of a hobo. I happen to know a group of hobos that have settled down and built a pretty nice camp. Bet you'd be welcome there. Well, I do value my solitude, but certainly wouldn't do any harm to visit and see. In fact, I'm due for a vacation. Wait, I need your knowledge. No, I need your knowledge. I'm sorry, Plot. I need his knowledge, and I need it now. I'm going to lift the car for them. Pepperidge Dolphin? What the heck? Pepperidge Dolphin died 150 years ago. Then that man in the boxcar is a... a g -g 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 oh, hello again. Ah! Did I start you? Dreadfully sorry. Pepperidge, you're alive! Well, yes. Was that in question? This gravestone says... Ah, I see. This is my great-grandfather's. I was named after him. Decided to bring it back with me as another uh, souvenir in addition to the father's padlock collection. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Let me ask you something. Do you know any hobo code? I have learned something since my arrival, yes. At least I can do after the help given here. I'll write it down. Straights it down on a scrap of paper and hands it to you. Oh, I don't really get this one. Takes the paper, rotates it about 30 degrees, and hands it back. Oh. Hey, Moss Man. Hey, McFitzer Rupper. Rat, thanks for pointing me to this place. Pretty great. Everyone's real friendly-like. Oh, so you're not missing the solitude of the swamp? 
No, turns out that's less important to me than just being able to sit and not do much. I've been helping out by growing herbs in the kitchen. Do you know any hobo code? I, I got a couple. How about keep off the grass? Yes. God, we're doing so much better. Is that everyone? We gotta check shut eye. Nope, nothing new yet. I would like to warm my hands. In a grocery store. Uh, anyone else in cryptography? Veronica? Doc? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you? I like your hat. You're the growing woman. And you're king. Whoa, what? Hey, you get around a lot, right? Do you think you might be in the vicinity of Seaside Institute? I have a small delivery to make. I can do that. Receive word that a hobo there has come into the possession of a number of old dorm rooms. Where are you from? Leave. Oh, okay. Uh, we will be taking this full side quest because I, I, I like this. Where? What's the quest? Gator man, track down, hunt down, find, f uh, deliver the feather you required. No, I gotta read. Hobo King gave you this to, to, to Ovid Lobdill. Somewhere on SIT campus. Oh, I just wander for him. I do need a fuse. Oh, dang. I'm wandering. Okay. I'm wandering. Look, why are you asking me? Your purpose is calculation. Leave me alone. Uh, hypnotize him right back. Come on. I'm gonna run away from the reactor. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk to chemicals. Uh, complicated SIT book. Sure, I'll buy it. Advanced complex ethics. Oh, dang it, I thought you were my royal summons guy. I just remember there's a jump button in this game. Alright, we're going to each of the houses. Bottle of durian soda. Sure, whatever. Stonks. Ogden. What a horrendous one. Ah. Oh, the radio. Accidental genius. Anyway, let's try upstairs. That's just fighting. Okay, stench. I think I've been in there before, almost certainly, but you can't stop me from entering a stench room. I just, I just must go in. All right, inventory, filters, elemental, stench. I don't want to eat anything else. I'll, I'll equip those things. Art. Hmm. Okay, next house. Bewitch. You Ogdul? Are you Ogdul? Eh, 
right, he's, he has beer hops, sure. Plus one muscle, hell yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, it's catnip. Empty stone mailbox. Hmm. Open it. Weird hovering rock. I don't know. I mean, it's so clearly evil in here. Oh, he's the shop guy. I'm stupid. Literally says it. Ooh, vital of ice soda. I drink that. Hey there. What are you selling before I, uh... Physical armor to a hat. That's really good. Pocket battery. Sold. Jocelyn pom-pom. No, don't want that. Target stench armor. You can just put it on your nose. Oh, it's a combat item. Never mind. That was a waste. Anyway. The Hobo King requires your presence. Uh, come again? There's a hobo camp just inside of Ocean City, and the guy in charge... I heard you're rich with beds. He asked me to give you an official summons. Oh, hey. I can use more than one or two of these myself. I'll head on out. Doesn't understand how fences are supposed to work. Well, fair enough. To the bus stop. To the Ocean City. To the, to the hobo camp. Uh, I milk some worms. I'm proud and not, not disgusted. Hey, where are you from? Hoboken. Alright, shut up. Oh, my messenger friend. I've never caught your name. Hey, Ovid, I'm McFitzruffer. Well, thanks for pointing me here. Business is booming. Nothing's changed. Alright, shut I? Yeah, okay. I mean, that was incredibly simple, but you know. To the Big Moist! To... Lemberg. The Frog Bog? I'm gonna keep going where I'm going, but thank you. Ugh. I got more junk mail. You commit a federal crime. Alright, look. Any, anything anything on here? Hmm. How about this fence? Alright, fine, we go in. Oh, no. Ugh. I don't know what I collected, but I did it. There's a very small guy. He screwed up. Well, if I can't make fancy combat items, I'm not going to do it. Ooh. Aww. Hey, how's it going? Barley hanging in there. Alright, what's up? Uh, hi, I'm McFitzruffer. Do you need help? I absolutely need help. My name is Flimberg. Paul Flimberg. I moved back into my parents' old house because no one would give me the lab space for my experiments. Turns out I should have had an assistant. What are you trying to do? Prove myself. Become better, faster, stronger. At least one of those. But I put the rules, co cons, the stuff in the console, and I shrink. You can't change the settings? The door doesn't open from the inside. But... Yeah, no, I, I didn't think that through. Okay, I can just let you... Oh, no, 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 no. Opening the door will depolarize the booth, and it takes months for the field of meters to recharge, not to mention the fact that I have to collect all new samples of genetic material, so the door can just only be opened once. Why did you do that? You have to fix the settings on the console. Okay. What should I set it to? Clearly. If I knew, I wouldn't have put the wrong ones in myself. Just make me better before you open the door. Better than what? Better than a normal guy. I don't know. I spent so much long thinking about how. I didn't think about why. Act. Fly. Flip. Pituitary one. 
Alright, what's up? Now what? This is exactly what I do not want. Okay. Not just yet. Flip the hat leather. Okay, I'm gonna step away. Nice hat. You sure you don't want to be a regular person? It seems to be fine. I'm positive. Improve me. All right, hang on. Lungs. Step away. Flapper flaps his mouth a few times, but he doesn't seem to be able to speak. And he seems pretty uncomfortable. Now what? Head. <laughs> okay. Uh, flip the body. How about this? How's this one? Opens his mouth, but he's unable to say anything. Clearly, ups this upsets him a bit. All right, let's flip the lungs. Talk to him. Is now a giant fly with a human head. Oh God! One sec, I'll change it. No, wait. This one's pretty great, actually. What? I can fly at the volitional strength of a fly scaled up to a human. What's not to love? Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. I can't wait to get up all kinds of giant fly stuff. Well, before you go, I, I need to get a chest hair off of you. Oh, what? Yeah, sure. Thanks. It's for... I don't want to know. Goodbye. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Tiny workbench. Oh, I can do workbenching anywhere. That's actually quite cool. Well, hate that guy. Anyway. How about the frog bog? Random noise, leave it there. Oh, is my moxie high enough? No, okay. Ooh, that's actually increasing my moxie, damn. Uh, all right, we're gonna wear. We're gonna wear. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna wear the horrendous hat. And you know what? We'll, we'll add. We'll add a roll of duct tape. We wrap the duct tape around the hat, making it sturdier but less stylish. I mean, do I have anything that'll increase my uh? No, I, I gotta stay at this. Alright, whatever. Help. Hey, help. What? Clear your throat. And there was a frog in it, huh? Uh, hello, frogs. Not. Ribbit. Humans. Ribbit. Ribbit. Humans. Ribbit. Not humans. Wait, are you saying that you're humans, not frogs? Right. 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 Okay. That's not good. Yes. Okay. Think about what it'd be like to be trapped inside a frog's body. After a few seconds, you stop thinking about it, because that sounds awful. How did this happen? Ancient statue frog. Quarry. Quarry. Statue in the quarry. God cave. Ancient quarry, quarry, cave, curse, cave, curse, quarry, cave, curse, ancient. Could you all stop talking except for one frog? Statue, single, frogs, frogs, all, all, share, single, all share, single, mind. Oh. That's rough. All frogs share a single mind. Wow, that's incredible. That changes uh, n uh, nothing, really. You try to remember the last time you interacted with a specific frog as an individual, and it was... Oh, that was biology. Some way, I can help you. 
One of the larger frogs hops up to you and coughs loudly. A shiny green object flies out of mouth and sinks into the water. I grab it. It's a gleaming emerald. What do I do with this? The second frog approaches and belches a soggy piece of paper. You decide to look at it. it appears to be a shipping label. Hmm. Careful. 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 Ribbit. Good luck. Good careful. Good luck. Okay. Well, let's go save some frogs. Uh, the swamp smells terrible. I mean, literally, like, standing in water and rotting compost, the biome. It's not like anything new. It smells like a ro uh, I'm gonna run up and grab it. Oh, I just had the stench armor to do it! <laughs> Holding both your nose and your breath, you run up and snatch a wisp before it can fly away. Fortunately, you got an empty drawing you scraped off into. Ugh. So no, drive efficiently. Excess gas will be used to deduct. Guy seems a bit, uh... Ribbit. Uh, hey, do you know anything about a curse? Ribbit. Hmm. Uh-oh. This is either the guy who thinks he's a frog or the soul of a frog trapped in the body of a guy or a really good method actor returning Toad of Toad Hall. Ribbit. Have you seen any cursed frog idols? Alright. This is rough, team. Okay. Got Bess. It's a great gun, but I'm taking the hat. Whoa. That's a really good hat. It, like, doesn't fit my build at all. But it's a really strong hat. I'll have to come back to that. I'm going to look behind it. You push the painting aside and find, surprisingly, a safe. Unfortunately, it's a keys type safe. You don't have the key. All the books of management have titles like Shaking the Invisible Hand, You Deserve More, and How to Get Blood Out of the Turnips You Hired. <laughs> Lock it. I extract their nasty, nasty value. Junk mail. I still don't have a way to open that, do I? I still don't have a letter opener. Okay, what was the benefit of entering here? Nothing so far. Ugh. Alright, well, we're gonna use this. The thing clicks a few times, the needle goes to three. Check them out. Please don't do that thing with your neck. Alright, so here's the cursed cave. Seems to be more cheerful. Uh, oh! Hey, don't touch that! That's right, I'm a human man and not a frog at all. I reason to believe that you're actually a frog in a man's body somehow. Well, it's my body now and I'm keeping it. I don't need any dry skin leg walkers coming in here and holy hop, you've got the missing eye. Yeah, the big emerald. I was just noticing it looks awful like this one. I absolutely need you to stay, stay away from that statue right hopping now. You don't want me to fix it? It's very important. It's the ancient idol of the frog god. When the humans blasphemed it by removing the eye, this particular human right here, they were cursed with the great croaking one's righteous fury. So that's why all the people here and the frogs in that bog nearby are... Oh yeah, it's a freaky Friday. I don't know what that means. Forget about it. The point is the humans did crime. So now it's the frog time to shrine. And if I put the eye back, it undoes the curse, yeah. On hop, I shouldn't have told you that. Um, but those people really want their bodies back. Well, so hop and what? Hop them. Look, man, look. Take your inherent pro-human bias into account and consider the justice. These people come rolling in, break some stuff up, spill oil and gas everywhere, then they find an ancient religious icon. First thing to do is try to loot it. Take the other eye out of the statue. What? I don't want to be a frog. Oh, don't worry about that. It won't curse you. What it'll do is make the original curse permanent. No take backs, no do overs. That's justice. I'll tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. You can keep the emeralds. Heck, I'll make a necklace. Well. Okay, I take out the other eye. Lie. 
Great, go ahead and help yourself. This will be a real weight off my shoulders, and I've never even had soldiers. Uh huh. Judging from the smell and thick cloud of flies is not a place for a good time. Let's not go back there unless you really have a good reason. I mean, there, there is no way. I'm going to return the missing eye. In the interest of full disclosure, you should point out this is a one-way decision. If you mess with the idol, you won't be able to change your mind afterwards. I'm going to return the missing eye. No, don't! <clears throat> you socket the back end, both eyes flash brewing green, and then dim again. No, no, hop you, hop you, you bet. Ugh. You okay? My brain feels slimy. Yeah, man. Hey, are you the original you? Uh, yeah, I'm an actual human guy. Name's Roger. Thanks for your help. I think I would have gone crazy if I'd been trapped as a frog much longer. Although, I guess there was a lot of... Isn't a lot of practical differences between being a crazy frog and a sane one. Yeah, no problem, Roger. Happy to help. That's true, we got another problem. Oh, what's up? I don't know how much you saw in the situation, but this place really sucks to work at. Yeah, it seems run down? It doesn't need to be is the thing. You turn a good profit, but the foreman refuses to spend any more than the absolute minimum on facilities and wages. Whoa, that's messed up. You should have seen his face when I showed him that idol. His tongue hit the floor like a cartoon wolf. He's getting yacht catalogs in the mail. Well, we gotta do the actual work. Why don't you quit? We tried to start a union, but we just called in the Pinkertons to rough us up. We try to quit, same deal. We can't even walk out because he watches us like hawks. See that tunnel in the back? That comes out past the trees, and if we snuck out there at night, you won't spot us. You want to cross the swamp at night? It's not much of a plan. It's the only one we got. So you need someone to clear out the tunnel? Yeah, and the size of the flies are real big. I mean... Yeah, I'll consider it. Hey, man. Tongue hurts, and I got kind of a gross taste. You've been eating shoe leather, so this isn't really new. Hey there. Alright. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Scrams, I'm busy. Alright, well, you suck. I'm actually gonna go to the frog bog. Gotta see what they say, you know? Speak to the frogs. Right? Rivet, 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 rivet. They're all riveting. Mm. Alright, they're all riveting. Back to the quarry. Call the tracks. How many thumbs on one hand? One. Four fingers. Sneak up on it. Crap, I have to also have seven mysticality. I leave it alone. All right, all right, all right. I need seven of, I bet you I need seven of each. If I get to 200, I'll have enough XP to switch off of this hat. What are my what are my effects at the moment? I ate something. Yeah, I have the plus one to everything. But my potion could be better. Uh, never mind. I'm looking for a potion. Potion. Hmm. Finest tooth wax. That's disgusting. That's mysticality and moxie. Yes. Okay. You apply the rouge to your cheeks, giving you both a healthy glow and an unhealthy one. Ideal. All right, we can catch them next time. And also, we should switch hats then. Well, no. It's good to have the boast of the muscle. All right, let's go fight some punks.
Oh. I would like to frighten them away. Using my insectology, you clear your throat a few times, put your hands over your mouth with your fingers entwined in a complicated shape, and make the feeding call of the great eastern devil tarantula. Sort of a buzz, chirp, growl, whistle noise. The flies, you can see you standing right there, making the sound. Leave quickly anyway, because they're afraid you might summon one, or they don't want to see what weird, awkward thing you do next. Destroy the horrible things. I want the gory details. Just to be clear, there's no bonus item or achievement or other special reward for the gross version. It's going to be as long as I can stand to make it. Hit me with your best shot. Okay, you pick up one of the maggots. It's about the size and shape of a medium-large sweet potato. Or a yam, depending on where you're from. And instead of brownish-orange, it's a sickly white color. Ridged like an earthworm, both fleshy and rubbery. And covered in clear, sticky mucus. It wrinkles and pulses in your hand. You drop it on the ground and stomp on it. It bursts with a sort of sound spraying with lumps of pallid, a pallid white flesh and thin greenish yellow juice in a circle on the point of impact. When you lift your foot up again, six to the floor makes a sound as you peel the sole of your shoe away. Keep going. Pick up two more maggots. They wriggle in your hands. The mucus covering them and your hands now as the texture and viscosity of a slightly thinned down rubber cement listens in the dim light, makes strands and webs between your fingers as you open and close your hands and drop each maggot and stomp on them, each foot. Splort, splat. The spray looks like lumps of old mayo mixed with juice from an expired camping glow stick. I approach the pile again and keep going. Pick up another maggot, sticks to your hand, watches the glue-like mucus pulling softly at your skin. You squeeze it, gently, then harder, like a half-filled water balloon <laughs> it pops. Keep going. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and imagine the smell filling your sinuses, except with an undertone of sour milk. Keep going. Uh-oh, I can't stop anymore. The smell of rotting fruit and sour milk is thick in the air. Keep going. The crunch splat. You roll around crushing and squirming maggots underneath you with each distinctive burst as rubbery grubs pop under your weight and spray more yellow-green bile and lumps of white gristle into the growing pool of sweet and sour-smelling slime. More. <laughs> Eventually, you stop out of breath but not wanting to breathe. It doesn't matter because your putrid clop has gotten up your nose and in your mouth and down your throat regardless of your desires. You might as well guess that you had to become accustomed to the smell, but you hadn't. You still smell it, and you'll never stop smelling that rotten fruit stench for the rest of your life. They're lying in a pool of chunky maggot stew, covered in the pulp of hundreds of burst grubs, their clothes soaked entirely, and the mucus and stinking green juice. With every crevice filled with a pallid white curd, you are an ungodly avatar of pestilence, filth upon this miserable earth. Anyway, thanks for reading. I hope you enjoyed it. You gained XP. It's a hat. Oh my god, it's, it's a hat. <laughs> I didn't choose to put the hat on. All right. Uh, no. Oh, but I can leave out the back. That's good to know. Hey, bud. What's it? Oh, my God. What happened to you? Oh, uh, maggot guts. Yes, for thanks clearing out the tunnel. Please leave and get fresh air. I'll be fine. I was saying that for my benefit. Good luck with your escape. Nobody else has mentioned it? Look. Mess hall. Oh, this grub sure is alive, huh? Check them out. They are very interesting. Oh, yeah, this. Leave my painting alone. Uh-huh. Aw, oh, man. Well, you've all been saved, and you're welcome. To the monster shack. Do, 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 Crash site? To the crash site. Do, 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 do. Hey, bud. The most diagonal plane you've ever encountered. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, I have to leave. 
to Burberber's hut. Oh, I follow the tracks. It has one thumb. It has four fingers. I sneak up on it. I outsmart it. You pick up a rock and chuck it underneath the brush. The honey ape stiffens at the noise and starts scanning for predators. I grab it. You leap on the small primate, wrestle it to the ground, screeching loudly. I mean, the primate is a screech. No, I mean, you both are, to be honest. Once you get it pinned, you grab it underneath your wrist and yank off one of its long, untrimmed finger yells, which, thinking about it, making me wince. Ugh. The horrible deed accomplished, you let the creature loose and it runs screaming to the swamp. Congratulations on successfully stalking, outsmarting, and assaulting a small weird ape. Thanks. I would like the knowledge. Ask this girl for a treat. Can I have a little treat? Oh, sure, dear. A breath mint. Wow. Thanks, Barbara. I love knowledge. Anyway, to the monster shack. <laughs> Alright, team. Hey, Moss Man. Hey, the Moss Man was totally real. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He even gave me his mustache. Whoa, that's cool. You're welcome. Uh, well, how do I look? Uh, Mossy? This is the best day of my life! Pulls out a bat, a sash. As an official member, here's your first Monster Squad badge. I would like to wear it. I would like to wear my sash right now. Hey, the honey ape's totally real. Oh my gosh, really? I knew it! Here's your tracing back and the fingernail you wanted. Wow, huh? It's just... I guess I'm torn. Between the excitement, vindication, and the fact that I, this is a much grislier object than I realized it was going to be. Oh, don't worry. Honey Ape has nine more. Oh, I guess that's true. Anyway, thanks for your help. Here's another Monster Squad badge. Yeah. Hey, Smeller. Did you find the smell wisp Yeah, it was horrendous. Don't open the jar in this room. Oh, that's that bad, huh? I wonder if it's any stronger since I met it. Anyway, thanks for your help. You hand over the nose trumpet she lent you and the jar of fool foulness you collected. Pin another badge. Oh, yeah. Hey, kid. Uh, oh, the Baba Yarga woman? You mean the one from her birds, yeah? Yeah, she doesn't have feathers herself. Here you go. Oh, thanks, miss. What was she like? Pretty nice, actually. Don't go in her basement, though. <laughs> this is all true. One additional combat per round. It's the best thing in the game. Did you meet Flyman, and did you get a... Yeah, I got it. Thank you, I'm gonna put this in a little silver locket and treasure it forever. Uh, what's he like? Was this his experiment of sex? Sis? Uh, I, I don't want to talk about it. Goodbye. Hey, kid. Any luck trapping the chupa chupa -ba -ba? How do I do that? I need a battery now. You want cat unlocked? Get him now. One muscle or three spooky armor. I will keep my current boon, but thank you. How do I... catch this punk? Oh, I need a battery. Who do you... Th Rufus. Come on, Rufus. You have to own a battery. I grab the weird uh, insects. Do you not have, like... Are you sure I can't... Oh. Oh, I got more speakeasy stuff. Oh my gosh, I need 10 moxie? I can get there. Alright, I'm never unequipping that. That's an accessory. This gives me plus one to everything. Alright, maybe it's deeply impossible to get there. Alright, I take it back. Who would sell a battery? Who sells things? Fission chips? Hmm. Batteries. Obit shop's gone. 
shoot. Hilbert House? I don't even remember what this was. Oh man, I would like a fuse though. Oh, you're the unending house. Okay, bus stop. Ocean City. First, we go here. Oh, I have a message? Don Toblerone, speaking. Uh, Don, that was unusually concise. You're feeling today? Boss is mad about our telephone bill. I have been encouraged to keep brief. Oh, okay. Well, what's the job? Greasy Steve has details. Whoa. Fishing rods curse? Choose me, choose me. Which one do I choose tonight? Whoa. I break the cycle. Oh ho. The curse uh when the curse got its teeth in that bicycle it screamed, but only for a moment and then silence. Limp silence. The insatiable eldritch hunger for fish once animated the curse gone. Just a stick and a hook. You can even fish with it now. Great. The book's curse. What was the book's curse? Oh, Latin? Okay. All right, Kirkius. Oh, I have seven muscle in the real world. I threaten him. Step aside, Hercaneus, or I'll go right through you. I don't respond to threats. Look at me. What would happen to a man who stands in my way? You respond to me or you'll die. Look at me. What would happen to a man who stands in your way? I don't respond to rhetorical questions. Rhetorical? Do you know how many men I've killed? I don't like to ask questions. Ask me further and I'll kill your entire family. How would you like to die today? I don't respond to open questions. Why do you persist in vexing me? I don't respond to open questions. Do you remember what happened when you first annoyed me? I don't recall. I don't respond to recall and process questions. This time I'll keep going until I'm rubbing your eyes together in the palms of my hands. I don't respond to threats. Uh, look at me. What this happened to a man who stands in my way? Rhetorical questions. I don't... Very well, how would you... Like to die today? I don't respond to open questions. How much longer do you mean to do this? Do you know what happened when you first annoyed me? I don't respond to rhetorical questions. Are you attached to your eyes? Do you think you will still be at sunset? I made thumb bedfellows of your eyes. Do you remember that? I don't answer to respond to call questions. Are you attached to your eyes? Do you think you will still be at sunset? Fair, Grimhold. It is fairly won. You are right. I would not wish to lose my eyes and be deprived in turn of your fine and beauty. Pig, step aside. It's not personal, Henricus. It's just a birthday card. Never return to this place. Are you attached to your eyes? A sharp wit is yours indeed, Grimhold. But oh, if you had only lashed me with Latin and tongue, your barbs would ring like great poetry. You bore me with your Latin. Birthday card for the tribes. I punch it into the sky. And I make a book. That feels like I defeated it. Ooh. 111 ways to 
to... No, oh, I'm very excited to cook something. Anyone like mutton? No. What do you mean, no? That wasn't a possible answer. You're fired. Holy crap, how do I have so much? I buy it. I buy it. Oh my gosh, that was 400 XP and I just instantly threw it away. No regrets. Oh, Jesus, there are enough of us? Wait, what? Obviously on a fourth date and you shouldn't bother them. Aw, they're, they're going better and better. Oh, heck yeah, bro. If you got problems eating the old cold Q and it's not the hobby for you. Wait, did I say hobby? I meant lifestyle. Sitting next to a warm, comforting fire does sound pretty good. Right, bro? Plus, while you're standing there, you can be queuing up some burgs or weenies or whatever. Hey, Barnaby. 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 Whatever. Useless. What's up, Fancy Dan? Found this case of whiskey. And this absinthe. And this bass oil. All right. I would like absinthe and cola. Bottoms up. All right. God, it's real nasty, huh? Anyway, bust up. Big moist. I'm an adult. I needed a battery. That's why I left. <laughs> Shoot. Man, where would I get a battery? Um, do you people sell anything anywhere? The Leatherman? Leather guys? The Leather Brothers. Oh, teach them how to read a compass. What do you have? Why would you have a battery? That's, that's a stupid, that was a stupid on my part. This area is all strength based. The better one must be where John accesses his hunter dreams. What? Hunter's dreams? I want to go there. You prove yourself a hunter, maybe. Oh. I'm going to go inside. This egg is busted. Okay. I was looking forward to eating that egg all day. Come dinner time, I only went and bloody dropped it. I've seen worse. That's so impressive. Hmm. Alright. Gator Man Hamlet. Flashing light cuts through the trees. The glare passes and above you, a telescope. You fancied a telescope ever since you were young. Boy, you'd be you'd press your nose to the window. I want the telescope. I want to go there now. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey, mister. Why don't you keep walking, huh? This here's Will's Hunter Treehouse. Ain't no grown-ups allowed up there. Who are you? Will Hunter, I said. What's your story, Will? It ain't much to tell. I ain't nothing interesting, mister. I swear not the city folks like you. I'm not city folk. Ever seen a pig birth? Yes. Bet you ain't seen half as many as me, though. How many papers have you seen, uh, Will? Reckon about 70. What are you doing in the swamp? Ah, eh, nothing special. Same thing as every boy, I reckon. I must know what that is. I ain't telling anyways. What's up there? Anything, I swear it. I want to use the telescope you got there. Free the telescope's the property of Will Hunter, same as my licorice collection. You mean licorice? No, licorice. It would be called licorice, because it taint made of rice. Have you refrigerated it? It's in my pocket with some ice, so yeah. Can you let me up? 
Um, I'm just gonna climb the tree. Hey, now, this is a private tr tree house. Stop or I'll tan your hide. Take the risk. There's no boy in the tree house at all. Only the large and sagging features of a human face sunk into the tree. Surely, that can't be young Will Hawker. Well, I ain't no keeping you from my play. I've been wicked, ma mister. Is there a ladder that you can put down? I suppose I can't. Tan a ladder in that way, you know. It's like my fingers or nostrils. What happened to you? It ain't much to tell. That can't be true. Oh, uh, you ever heard of a doctor? Yes. Well, why you gotta be so mean? I reckon most people you go and ask, they tell you about what a doctor does. My one doctor, Dr. Weiss, lived on the same street as my step on. It was one morning he paid me six bits to paint his fence. Well, heck, I swear I was fixing to do it. But I heard an interesting trout down out of the river. And, then, you know, I'm, I'm Will Hunter. How could I resist? No, I agree. You need to go catch the slightly wide trout. We're going to catch it, Mr. Only Measure, for my nose is on the trout width. Anyway, Doc Weiss wasn't real pleased to teach me a lesson. He cursed me into a tree. How'd you do it? Oh, I don't know. They got powerful tools like tweezers and hat charts. What was the lesson? That I ought to paint fences I said I'm fixing to. Can you end this curse? Well, doctor told me I could be a tree until I can make good at painting fences all around town. Hard enough for me to do it like this, I'll tell you that. I'll do it. Oh, mister, you'll paint fences for me? You wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, sure. Well, that's real swell. Thanks a lot. That doc said, curse me. Chris me had a nice white picket fence, and he said, Will Hunter paint three more of these fences like this, or he'll be a tree forever? Your grandfather? Don't think so. Okay. A plume of smoke. I know where one of the fences are. I can't be tricked. I must go there now. We are going to Ovid's shop. I leave. This counts. I paint it. I knew it. Okay. Uh. Where else were there fences? In Backwards Land? Pet store. What? Hey there, I got a souvenir from SIT. Your future self tosses you a pair of pants. I've already been to SIT. I, I could have just bought these. Yeah, you did, except you were me. Now I'm giving them to you. Don't forget to go back and buy a pair. To give to myself? You son of a bitch. Making me go buy pants. No. I thought that was a good enough store. Oh, I can just keep doing this? Well, in that case... I'm going to hit M. Nope. I'm going to hit inventory, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep using it. Yeah. Alright, sucker the mosquito. You are roided. Let's go, buddy. What else was I here for? A hardware store might have batteries. Run away. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh, hang on. Did you have a fence out front? Dang. I need a metal detector. I don't think I ever got one.
be like a weapon maybe? What about quest items? Such a thing exists. Hmm. What else? Pencil. Okay. We we bust stop. Go to the big moist. Go to the map. We've gotten one down. That's good. Did you have a... What about you? You could use a fence. Come on. Fence! Okay, that's two. Who else would have a fence? Let's just go to the plume of smoke. I don't know. I buy the sack. I got a gator stick, a swamp mushroom, a gator punch. I'm gonna pull it open. The truck has been abandoned. There's nobody inside. Are they small and hiding? I search the seats. I take the paper. I search under the seats. Small LBS key. Close the door. That's what that was, huh? Oh. We've got two painted. Largemouth bass and sun, maybe? I harvest the barf. I don't even want to clock that in my brain. Um, let's check my books. You look at the first few pages, and the only thing you learn is you better be selling this off to the used bookstore. I do that then. Oh, wow. I memorize this. I upgrade my elemental elemental. You summon the test elemental who grabs the book out of your hands and tears it in half. <laughs> yeah. the beds for useless Kathy's. Kathy's letter. 16 teeth? Just sell them, I guess? Quest item, quest item, quest item. The envelope isn't sealed, just slide it open. Dad, all anyone cares about in this family is large enough to ask. Well, I'm sick of it. Ain't I a person? Ain't I deserving of being cared to? I'm leaving, Dad, for please... Where dreams are possible. You ain't ever gonna find me because you don't know where that is. Love, Kathy. Alright. You're right. Can I marry into your family? I found these teeth under a pillow. I found the company truck. You need to see this. Pours over the letter, browing, sinking deeper further. Ain't never, ain't I, my friend. Those are vulgar contractions of Occam's Gazer. I didn't give Kathy a copy of Jane Eyre, only to have her contract him properly. No, this letter is an obvious ruse, friend. And Occam's clumsily attempted to throw this at us. Occam's Gazer? 
a monstrous gator's man, centuries old, ten feet tall, if he's if he's an inch, with scales as blue as the deepest ocean, he has two tails as sharp as razors. He's not afraid to shave you. His appetites are insatiable. What? I ate your sandwich. No, you didn't. The one in the refrigerator is a decoy. Nobody's ever found the real thing. Alright, man. Go off. God, this place sucks. Why would you ever want to live here? I mean, like, oh, uh -huh, neat. Found the company truck. You, you meant to be finding the company's son. Tom, oh yeah, it's a, li it's a live maggot. Um, Tom Chapman. The key, truck's the key to finding the son. Oh yeah, is it? Then where's Tom? It's looking more and more like Tom ran away from home. Well, even if that's true, it doesn't matter. You find him and that's your responsibility. I read his diary. Did you now make any sense of it? Yeah, it seems he was planning to take the truck and drive through nearby gator camp and ensure he wasn't followed. How'd you piece that together? Well, on the page that said contain no in information, it was very important. Hmm, and I understand why. Why did he say it of no consequence? I don't understand. Alright, well, you're useless. Chum for Patrick. Um, what do I need for you? Oh, I can do it now. We're going. Shiny chest on the tussock over there. What's a tussock? A big clump of grass or a small hill. That's not really the important part, though. How about that treasure? Are you sure that's what a tusk it is? I thought it was a cassock. What? No, that's a thing priests wear, like a close-fitting robe. No, you're thinking of a cossack. This is a cassock. It's not a cassock. That's a 17th century Eastern European cavalry soldier. I think you mean... Calvary. Alright, that's it. I'm done. Forget the chest. There's no chest. On to the next thing. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I tighten the spring. I adjust the torque. Sensitivity. I add the battery. I add a fuse. That's good enough. Here you go. How do I find it, though? Trying to deduce a kid to find the Chupanabra's lair out in the big moist and set up work for it. Hmm. Alright, we'll go to the crash site. A spot of color in the drab swamp catches your eyes, and you find a patch of withered orange husks in the shallow caves. Must be the lair of the Chupanaranja. Fortunately, it isn't home right now. Or maybe since you aren't an orange, it wouldn't it be dangerous to you? I set the trap. Set the trap and hide. Nearby bush to wait for your prey. After a while, you start to get very bored. And remember that people who hunt with traps don't typically sit and wait for the prey. They sort of just come back. I'll leave and come back. Alright, how can I help you? Hey, uh, looks like you messed up. Yeah, uh, you think? There are three kinds of problems I got, if you don't count the headache. My plane being stuck ass downward in the swamp is the most obvious one. Anything I can do to help? The name's McFitzrupper, by the way. Ronda Rouse Mutant. Hi. Yeah, if you got some time in your hands, I bet your buns I could use it. Well, what happened? I was looking to be the first to fly a plane all array around the swamp in one go. Nearly ate it too, but first to fly nearly all the way around the swamp. Won't be making any headlines. Now, now look at what I got. A plane half buried in muck, tainted fuel, and if I get sorted out, there ain't enough runway for me to get flying again. Hmm. The plane seems real stuck. Let's talk about something else. What's wrong with your fuel? When I landed, the t t fuel tank got f filled with swamp water. Um, but I can tell you this, it's not good for it. So I siphoned the tank dry, figured it wouldn't be that big of a deal since I can't got a can of backup fuel. Let me guess, full of water too? Ain't so bad that it can't be a little worse. I hear ya. What's involved in building the runway? With enough tar and macadam, I could slap down a quick and dirty runway. Dirtier than quick, for certain, but it'll be good enough. Where'd you get that barrel of tar? You know, that's a funny story. Anyway, I need macadam. It's, it's gravel for fuss budgets. 
For my purpose, I need loads of rock exactly three centimeters across. Each individual rock is three centimeters across. All right. I will use telekinesis. You close your eyes and reach out with your feelings. Then you cause your feelings to magically coalesce into a giant hand made of pure energy and easily pluck it out uh, while avoiding super dumb and anachronistic pop culture references. Uh, I got your plane unstuck. I saw that was a hell of a trick. I'm duly impressed. Oh, shucks. Still caked in mugs and weeds, but... But I guess that comes with the territory. What's wrong with your fuel? Can that be fixed somehow? Well, technically, it just needs to have water distilled out of it, though I don't have any of that kind of equipment. Any basic distillation setup should do it. Okay. Hmm. Where can I do... Where can I do alchemy here? Where can I make potions? I don't know. Oh. Despite anything anything the map might have said, you've managed to wander back to the spot where you set the trap. And you've indeed caught something. It looks like a giant toad with a tentacle face covered in boils that might also be eyes. I approach it. You carefully sneak up on it since it's both distracted by the trap and unbearable to turn, unable to turn around. Do it in a headlock and slice off one of its nostrils. The pain, it roars in anger, but by the time it manages to thrash its way out of the trap, we're gone. Wow, that thing is horrifying. Uh oh. This rock is wearing sunglasses. This has an X painted on it. I would like to close it for XP. 26 XP, that's not great. Oh, X marks a vein of rock candy ore. Oh. Pure rock candy. Okay. Crush it. Pound it. Polish. Ah. Units. Chunk? Oh. What'd she need? Three inch? Shoot. Side quest. Three centimeter. Got it. something. Alright. That's fun. Three centimeters. Whoa. Polish it. Eleven. Oh, this won't work. All right, hang on. Fifty-two. How about pound, brush, pound, pull, dead. Wow, that's a pretty good forecourt. Start. 
do that. And then we're gonna pull. And then we're gonna crush. I don't know, that felt kinda close. Polish. Oh. Why is that one now alive? Yeah, yeah, okay. I just want to test something. Crunch. Polish. Pull. No. Oh, dang. Polish, push, crunch, crunch. Oh my god, I did it? Rondas. I'll bring it back. You promise? I promise. Alright, as long as you promise. Hello, Rhonda. Got your macadam. Wow, that's looking really good. Okay, give me a hand spreading out these and tarring them. Oh, well, that was really good. That'll do nicely. I mean, nice might be over complimenting it, but it'll do. Drive it back there. You're welcome, game. What was that like? Polish, crush, crush. Polish? Anyway. Where can I do chemicals? Moonshiner Shack? Maybe? Maybe. I'm gonna bewitch you. Leave the tracks alone. Oh, I can distill it. Great. Well, seems nasty. Weird. I figured a distillery would have it. Oh, I study them? Swamp stars draw the outline of Flamingo, attempting to swallow a car tire. Oh. What? Got your fuel line cleaned up. No, Shinola. If there's any in there, I think I got it out. Let's look, have a look. Well, look at that, no legs at all. Aw, oh, jingies. Does that mean I mess up? No, it means it's a good thing. Thanks. Guess you're all set then. Ah, oh, looks like it. Got plane, runaway, all sorted out. Thanks a ton, I could have done it without you. You know, you could have a career in aviation if you decide to give up whatever you do. Eh, yeah, don't want to explain it. All right, well, I've had jobs like that. Well, I got any meat on me, but here, here's a spare helmet for you. That's pretty good. Just a bunch of misc plane stuff. Wow. All right, then. A runway. Have you guys escaped this guy? Come on. I'm not covered in maggots. I fixed that. All right, Gator Man Hamlet. Uh, you hear a tussle. 
we're gonna sneak away. Okay, let's leave and let's try that again. Okay, we gotta fight them. Oh, it's just you guys. I don't even think you can kill me that bad. Food and seven, that's exciting. Why do you still do four HP damage? You've been boosted. Oh, how did I do that? I would like to summon my elemental cheese. Wow, that, that actually seems really strong. Anyway, they're all gonna die, but that was just for fun. <laughs> Man, you must be really a pain for people that aren't magic B BS wizards. Anyway. Frog, frog. Let's go to the Gator Man Hamlet and see if I can't save that croc. No. Okay. I would like to wander. I tear myself loose. Swamp haunch. What is a swamp haunch? Okay, we retreat. We wander. Gain the effect twitchy. Alright, I should have fought them. I am gonna save that next gator, though. Come on. Let me save the gator. I feel bad. I interrupt them. Hey, leave that gator man alone. I won't let you st your vampire stand for this. I think it's a disease. We aren't undeads? No, like a zombie or skeleton, anyway. The last necromancer was killed decades ago. Vroom, vroom. Hey, stop that. Yeah, don't talk with your mouth full. Stop biting that guy. My business. He volunteered. Anyway, I'm finished. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Gator fellows are just always evil. Good to know. Don't, don't even try and do anything to help. Minus 9 HP. I don't know why I do that. Like, it rules, but I didn't... I totally forgot that was a thing. Mm, plus three to all stats. Okay, so... Gator men can rage. That's good to know. And get punked on. Whoa. 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 Woo! Alright, we just murder him. Charge! Plus five poison? Which turns out to be poisonous. You didn't even know it was poisonous. That's funny. Anyway, get wrecked. Gaming is hitting the magic button because magic is so good. Gator Man Mush Monster. I also think I just found the, the main plot a lot later in last time. Alaka Parmesan! Punks. And get wrecked. Gator Man Skin Pants. Gator Punch. To Gator Hide. Try to open the door. I force the door. Release from a refrigerated cave. A cold man s squirms out. Oh my god, you're my savior. One more day trapped in there. I would have succumbed completely to despair. Who are you? I'm Fabian, an illustrator of natural scientists. Arid steps, glistering bergs of ice. But lately, I'm in my soggy period. How'd you get in here? Traveling swamp to swamp. I got caught by these gator men. 
It allowed me to roam within the confines of the camp. When I shouted for help at a passing truck, I was put into the refrigerator. What truck? It was a boy and a girl. I called out, stop, I am a prisoner. Take me with you. They drove on. Where was the truck heading? North of here. Okay, interesting. If we ever meet again, and it would honor me to paint your portrait. I am an artist, you know. Who knows indeed. I hope we meet again. Yeah, you, you too. I open it. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna s search him. Hey, I'm gonna crack this open. All right, good luck. Ooh. I guess these guys are just evil. All right, well, I'll kick their ass. Ooh, ooh, fishing spot. Yeah. More. A wet cigarette? This is really gross. <laughs> cool. A slithering puke fish. Alright, so. You know, sometimes we're just in spots. We fight them. Ooh, okay. Well, rip Bozo, but it's my turn, right? Oh my god, he's so strong. Yeah, come on. Good work, buddy. Get stanked on! Okay, you might be a problem. He seems like he's actually going to be a threat. It's worth it, though. Because I think if the rest of the team just focuses you down, we're fine. Yeah, worth it. Oh, wait. I get to do a move after this. Oh, get wrecked, punk. You fool. I got a gator man hide. All right. Oh, what the? I pushed the block of the boulder out of the way. The boulder heavier than when you last pushed it? Okay. I gotta stop doing that. I use Rufus's gadget. This is an unlimited fight. Okay. Push it back. I'm gonna kick their ass. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I know it's food time. One more fight. Come on, Mosquito. Heal me up. Get ruined, punks. Gator Man Weed Lord. <laughs> Intends to summon weeds. That'll... Oh, sorry. That'll summon... That'll... Wow, nine damage to everyone. This is pretty strong. Were you great Gator Man Scream Mouth? That's almost... All my health. Don't do that. Let me out. Just die. What are you? A Gator Man Rot Tooth. Just like a nasty, nasty boy. Get splattered. Weed Lord Fetish. Gator Punch. Two Gator Hats. Oh. Grandfather's chair. Grandfather's bags. Grandfather's teeth. That's a lot of teeth I'm being given. Nothing there. Okay, that's a ghost. Um, we're gonna call it right there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't help but keep playing this game. It's honestly addictive. Uh, but if you want to uh, follow up for the next... Uh, episode of this i highly recommend following us here on twitch at high frog studio you can actually also follow our twitter at high frog studio where we do like our weekly update about when the streams are and when other products we made are coming out and uh 
other than that, you can follow us on like Twitch, uh, Twitter, website, which is just High Frog Studio. Spoiler, they're all High Frog Studio. And of course, actually TikTok, where we do our highlights, the funny stuff. You know, none of this crap, like me just talking here. Just the good funnies funnies. Straight to your eyes, you absolute dopamine riddled children. Anyway, if you're still here after I just said that psycho phrasing, um, you should check out our book. It's called Pathfinder. No, it's not. That's what we made it for, Pathfinder 2 specifically. But we did make a book. It's called Heroic Crafting. Basically, you know how in some games crafting is like cool and well made, and in some games it's there for some reason? Well, Pathfinder 2 used to sort of be like a there for some reason sort of crafting system, and then we flushed it out into something that's actually quite enjoyable. So I do highly recommend clicking the link, checking out Heroic Crafting. It's pay what you want, so it can be any amount of monies from zero to all of it in the universe and i never have to do a thing again both would be fine uh but yeah other than that i just want to leave you with a nugget of wisdom which is of course crocodile men are the worst things about men 